Hi, my name is Nadine Lolino, and I am going to be sharing with you some restorative yoga postures. Um, thank you to Liberty Rising for this opportunity to share these practices with you. Um, restorative yoga postures can be really useful to unwind from your day, to help you to get to sleep, um, to open up uh, from sitting at a computer or being really involved in your day to day. Um, and to reconnect to the breath. And as we reconnect to the breath, we can um, drop back into our true self. Yeah, it's a sense of reconnecting. Yeah. So um, a couple props that would be useful is either some pillows. If you don't have a yoga bolster like this, then um, a, a few um, pillows, especially any stiffer pillows that you might have. And if you don't have that, um, then maybe a few blankets. Okay, so at least one blanket we will use. Okay, so let's set, set up first with um, a pillow or a bolster. I'll use my bolster, but you can have a pillow or a handful of um, blo or, uh, blankets as well if that works for you. So this blanket, I'm going to roll it. And that height of the roll is going to be about what's comfortable for you. So if it's a really big blanket, maybe roll it up a little less. To be extra comfortable, I'm putting the, um, the pillow underneath the knees, which is really gentle for the low back. If you don't need it, you can be flat. This blanket roll is going underneath the shoulders so that when I lay down my head, and my shoulders are both together on the opposite side of the blanket roll. This is really important that the shoulders are on the ground. This way you know you've moved over the blanket roll enough to get the opening here through the chest and it won't cause any stress for the neck or for the shoulders. Again, this blanket roll can be smaller as well or bigger if you are looking for something a little bit more. You don't have to have your legs up on something. They can be flat along the ground, but this can be um, a little more gentle if your low back is a little more tender. So even though we're just gonna hold this here for about three or four really slow breaths, this posture can be done for two to five minutes. You can close your eyes and just start to take deeper, longer inhales and exhales Counting the breath for two to four counts as you breathe in. And the same as you breathe out. And just try that again. Two to four counts as you breathe in and same as you breathe out. And just one more breath like this. And then let your knees bend and roll over to one side to come out of the posture. So again, these are um, just showing these to you, but your work at home can be to do one of these or each of these um, for two to five minutes and a couple of them I'll show you, you can do even for longer. Okay, so a twist would be nice. So I'm going to use the bolster, which again for you is some pillows or a stack of blankets. This is a very simple twist but I'm going to have my legs up on the support as then I take my body into a twist on the back. So the arms are just extended, but having the legs up on something makes this a really gentle twist, allows the opposite shoulder to rest into the floor where you don't really have to use much effort. It's just going to be down, okay, because you have more height under the legs. Take three breaths here. Breathing from around the armpit area to the waist, to the hips, on both the left and the right side of the body. Inhaling for three, two to four counts. And exhaling for the same amount of time. The head can be where you're um, looking straight upward or you can turn your head the opposite way your legs are to take the twist also through the neck. 
Take one more breath here. Two to four counts as you breathe in. From the armpit to the waist, both sides, and a slow exhale. So really feeling the left and the right side equally receiving the breath will help to balance out the sides of the body. Any tightnesses we might have gained on one side or the other from how we sit or stand through the day and just our normal, normal patterns or tendencies. Okay, and then you're going to lift it up and take it to the other side. So same thing, just move your hips a little bit the opposite way you're going to drop your legs. Get your legs up on the support and then open up into the twist. Your, your support is as big as you need it to be so that it's very easy for the opposite shoulder to rest down into the floor without much effort. Now focusing on the breath, inhaling two to four counts from the armpits all the way to the pelvis. Feeling the breath lengthen both the left and the right side equally. Counting the breath helps the, to give something for your mind to do so that it's not drifting off into other thoughts or continuing into the thinking, um, which is the exhausting part that we're taking a break from or taking a pause from. So counting the breath, giving your mind that to focus on brings you back into the body. And one more breath. And then rolling to the side to press yourself up. So I'm gonna use a um, smaller pillow to show you this next one because um, it's a little bit more intense on the hips. This is a face down position. So I'm going to have the pillow underneath my belly. And then this support is pretty small. So if I feel like, oh, it's a little too cushy, then I'm going to add a little bit more. I want to feel it, but I don't want it to be too high. Yeah, so this is a little bit more realistic. The stack of the hands underneath the forehead so that your head is at the center and your forehead is resting on the support of your hands. This pillow, the support is under your belly, meaning that your pelvis is sloping down on the back side of the pillow and your upper body is sloping down to the top part of the pillow. This becomes a little massage on the belly, so if it feels like too much pressure in the belly, just make sure you're using soft enough props for this. The psoas, the main hip flexor, attaches on the front of the spine, so you're even getting um, a little massage with that if you stay here for enough minutes. I recommend staying here for two to five minutes. So just, again, to just feel the posture before we move on, focus more of your breath into the back body. Be aware of your torso rising into the back of your shirt. Three, four counts as you breathe in. And same as you breathe out. This is really good if you have low back pain. But it's important that this pillow is underneath your belly. So your hips are falling down on the other side of the pillow, creating more space in the low back. And then inhaling to bring yourself up. So I'm just going to show you one more that you can do. And each of these you can do um, on their own. Okay, this next one, another one that's great to hold for five minutes, ten minutes even. I'm rolling this blanket roll uh, to make a blanket roll again. This time it's along the spine. If I want to, again, be really cozy for my low back, I'll have the pillow underneath the knees. So now this blanket roll goes along the spine, and I want my head to also be on it. So if your head is not on it because the blanket's too short, use a pillow under your head. When the arms are just slightly out to the sides with the palms facing up, I can feel my shoulder blades fall on either side of the spine, or either side of the blanket roll. And then here again, closing the eyes. 
Inhaling for three, four, five counts as you breathe in, feeling the whole torso receiving the breath and exhaling the same length of the breath. Relaxing your jaw. Counting the breath. All right, and then letting your knees bend and roll over to one side and allow yourself to sit up from there. So four postures that can be done together sequentially or that you can take one and just working on one um, again during the day or before you go to sleep. Um, two to five to ten minutes depending on how comfortable you've set up the posture really using the props is what allows your body to rest to be in a very calm state and then focusing on the breath taking those long breaths which are not forcing the length of the breath but just getting the evenness between the inhale and the exhale and giving your mind that focus on the breath, very calming, okay? So when you practice this, you can pause this video if you wanna work with the video and set a timer and stay in each posture a little longer and then move on to the next one or just jot them down and um, utilize them one, you know, one each day or so. Okay, thank you and enjoy.